Hey guys, today I'm going to make another video and today I'm going to make a book review. The book I'm going to review today is number one Enola Holmes, Mysteries by Nancy Springer. And as you can see, Holmes is the last name of Sherlock Holmes, which means they have a special relation. Enola Holmes is actually the little sister of Sherlock Holmes and also the little sister of Sherlock's brother, Mycroft Holmes. But the author's name is different. Sherlock, the Sherlock Holmes author was another person, not Nancy Springer. This is a sequel to Sherlock Holmes, but written by a different author. Today, as I said, I'm going to review number one, which is, in this picture, the red book, or on the main left side. It is called Enola Holmes and the Case of the Missing Marquess. A Marquess is a title of nobility referring to a young boy. But before getting on with the missing Marquess, I'll have to tell you the main theme of the story. As it says on the cover, the main character of the story is Enola Holmes, little sister of Sherlock and Mycroft Holmes. And this, the main theme of this is not actually a missing Marquess, but a missing mother. Enola Holmes' mother, Eudoria Vernet Holmes, is missing. And, to, or is it a consequence or on purpose, on her birthday. Eudoria Vernet Holmes was an ideal mother, or as Enola Holmes says, her entire life. She, is, she taught Enola in a different way from other women. She taught her to watch, to listen, and to fight. Also, she is known to be smartest among the three siblings, as shown here, from right to left, Enola, Mycroft, and Sherlock. This is a picture of what she and her mother did. She, she, her mother taught her, fight, as I said, to fight. And also, she did many experiments with her. But one day, as I said, consequently on her birthday, her mother disappeared for some strange reason. And as her, as her birthday gift, her mother gave her a book of ciphers. And because of this mystery, she contacted her brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock, hoping for answers. But they had none to give, except to know that she had left in a great haste and in unusual clothing. So, to say simply, Enola sets out to find her mother. She goes through London and through parts of Europe, and on her way to find her mother, she comes across a newspaper stand where it sh shows news about the missing Marquess. Now we can finally get back to the part I put aside earlier, the missing Marquess. His name is Viscount Tewkesbury, Marquess of Basilweather. And the missing part of the mystery, and also on the title, is not actually from kidnapping, as you might expect. He left of his own free will, most likely to be get away from all the nobility his title asks. And there's proof of this. Enola finds this, and then she also wants to find the mar missing Marquess as well as her missing mother. And on her way, she, meet, she meets the Miss. The Marquess, it, while she's she's held, ki while she's kidnapped, but by criminals, and sh she and she and Tixbury escape together, and they continue their their, and they continue their search for Enola's missing mother. But in the in the middle in the book series, Enola has has to depart adroitly with Tixbury. That was a bit sad. But then she keeps carrying on finding her mother. And at the end, I'm sorry to say she does not find her mother, but only at the end of this book. I'm not sure whether she finds her mother at the end of the series because I'm reading number two and only halfway through. But if I do read it, then I will, then I will tell you in another video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I do really recommend Sherlock Holmes and Enola Holmes. I hope you read both of them and enjoy the same, same feeling I get from each of them. Next time, I'll be back with a more interesting video. Bye!